San Jose de David, or David, is the capital of Cherokee province and is Panama's third largest city after Panama City and Cologne. It is the hub for shopping, business, transportation, education, and healthcare for all of Western Panama. David has an airport and a large bus terminal. David's overall population is approximately 164,000 people. Its elevation is 19.69 feet below sea level and covers an area of nearly 26 square miles, situated in Panama's major agricultural region. It's breadbasket, so to speak. It's not really a tourist destination, but more of a travel stopover point between other places or for shopping for things you can't find in similar towns like Boquete. I mostly chose to stay in David because of the aforementioned reasons. It was on my way back from Boquete to Panama City. rented an Airbnb in the Urbanización Via Mercedes, which seemed to be located on the southwest of the metro area. My stay lasted five days, and aside from a day visiting the city center, I mostly stayed at home, relaxing. I did explore my area to find a store, and I found a brand new rural country restaurant. I was looking for a laid back bar where I could be among people when I became bored at the house. Other than that little country restaurant, I didn't go out much while staying in Dundee. I ordered empanadas, pizza, and KFC through Uber Eats, watched Netflix, drank rum and Cokes, listened to music, and basically relaxed. That city just didn't vibe with me like my other destinations. David is another expat area. While I was in Boquete, I became acquainted with a couple of retirees from upstate New York who live in David. They are musicians. I didn't hit them up while I was in David, and other than them, the other only contacts I had were my Airbnb hosts, but they had moved to Boquete. You can find beaches about a half hour or so from the city or go about 40 minutes up the hill to the rainforest for hiking. From what I've read, recreational activities within the city are more at night due to the heat. I also read that they sometimes have bands at Cervantes Park. Transportation is cheap. Buses are like 35 cents one way around town and $2 or so from to or from Boquete. 
taxis average two to three dollars one way for most trips. Uber is about the same, but Uber is still kind of new there compared to Panama City. I paid a little more when I had access to my driver. I say when I had access because I learned that his girlfriend was sadly found to have stage four cancer and they had to take a trip to Panama City to see her oncologist. I hope she will recover. Fortunately, my host Jessica was able to take me to the bus terminal for my journey back to Panama City. For those who are interested, they say that David has a low cost of living. Apparently that covers pretty much everything but gas, which is about the same as US averages. I've read that you can live on $1,100 to $2,700 a month, depending on your needs and lifestyle. Those numbers do not include health coverage. I wish I'd been able to get around more while in David. It made me wish I wasn't traveling alone. That I had someone to do things with. But it was also good to have me time to relax in a two bedroom house all to myself. That said, despite the heat and solitude, I have no regret spending time in David and getting to experience a less touristy part of the country.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.